Hello, I'm Anna Wallenbeck from Sweden and now we are at Feeble in Frick having the second project meeting of the Organic Dairy Health Project which is a core organic project. This project is about breeding and management for healthier organic dairy cows. Well, in the whole project we are looking at the, the interplay between breeding and management. So we have work packages looking more at the management side and work packages looking more at the breeding side. It is in the organic principles that you should use as much as possible uh, indigenous breeds because it's believed that they are more resistant to diseases and more adapted to local conditions. So therefore we focus on, on local breeds in different countries and uh, we calculate their health uh, and functional traits and we compare them with commercial breeds Many of the commercial breeds, especially the big ones here in Europe, like uh, Holstein, we know a lot about these animals. But for the local breeds, we know much less. So there we have, number one, the knowledge gap there is knowing phenotyping, we call that. That is what we actually can measure on the animals. We need to phenotype these animals. We need to know how they produce, how, how their fertility is, and, and lots of other traits as well. The basics in animal production and breeding for animal production systems is that when you evaluate the animals uh, and based on that evaluation you select the breeding animals, that should be done in the same type on, of environment that the animals later will produce in. But at least in the northern parts of Europe, the main strategy is to use the same animals as bred for conventional production. So these are then animals that has been selected in conventional production environments with the environment and inputs in, in terms of feed that are valid for conventional production. But if the production environments vary a lot, then there might be that the animal that is best suited for the conventional production is not at all the animal that is best suited for organic production. We don't know that yet. We have some investigations done on this, but we know way too little. When we know more about these breeds, we can go on and we make uh, genetic uh, simulations to simulate different scenarios. If we push it in this direction, if we want cows that are healthier, how could we do that? What genetic change could we get? And then with our results from the genetic simulations, we would take them, discuss with breeding companies, with farmers, everybody that is interested in breeding alternatives, that is either how to formulate a breeding goal or which breeds to use, or if you should go crossbreeding, which breeds to cross with each other, etc. And then we have three efforts on uh, this uh, more sh uh, short term and immediate improvement of herd health. We have one study where we focus on mastitis and stress. We are looking at uh, mastitis uh, and what kind of management strategies and also uh, human-animal relationship affects the incidence of mastitis but also the curing capacity and we think that uh, better human-animal relationships and also certain management strategies help to prevent mastitis and maybe via the stress level of the cows and we, we are looking at the different connections between these factors and we hope that we can identify in the end some ways in which farmers can prevent in an early way the incidence of mastitis. In another study we are looking at the uh, possibility to dry up quarters. In modern milking techniques like automatic milking it's quite easy to dry quarters and we use that as an alternative for antibiotic for some types of mastitis. And then also pasturing is a very important part of uh, organic dairy production. So we're comparing pasture and non-pasture in a cohort of uh, more than 20 herds in Denmark and Poland. And then from this we will make grazing strategies which will decrease metabolic diseases and improve other health. And we hope that in the end we can bring together the results and find breeding strategies but also management strategies uh, to help uh, keep cows in a better health situation.